Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about this uh, thermal circuit breaker. So if you're working in the motorboard that uh, usually you have seen this kind of circuit breaker and this one, this is uh, normally you know this uh, normal battery switch that you can uh, make it on or off manually. So uh, first of all I'm going to explain you uh, what is this one and why we are using this kind of uh, thermal uh, circuit breaker and what is the advantage of this one. Uh, personally, I can recommend this uh, Blue Sea product because this is very uh, good design and uh, safe desi safe uh, uh, circuit breaker. Then uh, I will explain you. <coughs> I I will explain you why. <coughs> Sorry. So normally, uh, if your boat is if you are using like a Winchester inlet or sometimes even bow thruster or down rigger, you you can use this kind of circuit breaker. So uh, inside here, there's a thermal uh, activated mechanism like with the same principle that normal circuit breaker working with the bimetal and with the spring loaded, that same, same, uh, similar, uh, uh, same uh, mechanism, uh, working mechanism is same as a normal circuit breaker. It's uh, what it happened, the load current is reached to the desired ampere H that uh, due to that heat, the generating heat that it will uh, trigger the circuit breaker to close so uh, if you are if you are having like a, uh, like winches for example I'm going to uh, talk about if you fix this on <coughs> to your winch so sometimes your winch uh, if they inside they have some short, short circuit or sometimes if your winch is uh, when you're going to pull the net that if the winch is taking high load so that uh, the winch is taking high amount of current then the uh, if the winch is uh, reached to the the maximum current that if you are using this kind of thermal circuit breaker what it happen it will automatically close then it will protect your machine so uh, that is the most important thing that uh, you can use this one if you are using a fuse that normally what happen that fuse blow up then once the fuse blow up you need to manually replace the fuse sometimes like emergency situation that uh, or sometimes if you don't have a, a spare fuse that you will have an issue that time. For example, if you are using this one to like a bow thruster, if you are long time uh, going, if long time you are going to use the bow thruster, then due to this uh, temperature, the heat that it will uh, uh, automatically uh, shut down this uh, circuit, keep it closed, then uh, protect your bow thruster. So that kind of situation, uh, like an emergency situation, you can quickly reset the breaker then you can uh, you use it again and uh, if you are uh, using the fuse that you you have to replace the fuse manually then it will take time that like that emergency situation that uh, you are like uh, unsafe so when you choose the circuit breaker you have to select uh, which current you need like uh, uh, you can uh, choose uh, depend on your machinery which uh, maximum current so then you can choose which uh, uh, circuit breaker you need if you see this uh, if uh, if you're going to select this uh, blue c uh, thermal circuit breaker there's a few different design that uh, this one is if you see this is uh, like a surface mount design so this one you can put inside like a, a electrical d-board or some kind of compartment inside like that uh, because you can see this terminal is uh, you can access also uh, so this is uh, uh, like a surface uh, mount design if you need to fix this one like outside like uh, near the winch that uh, you, you you can quickly access place then you can use the flush mount design so flush mount design is normally <coughs> sorry this terminal is goes back side <coughs> so you only can see this uh, only this front side only then you can access very quickly so you don't need to uh, worry about this terminal because the terminal is behind the wall that you're going to fix this one so uh, the other design there's a, uh, one more design if you see sometimes you can see this uh, with the red button here then when you push the red button it will uh, uh, cut off the circuit breaker so if you trip you can see that uh, that design uh, currently i don't have that one to show you but you have seen sometimes if you see like uh, it it's uh, like a trip like this then you need to uh, uh, manually on the breaker then if you need to uh, make it off you just push the button then it will go off 
and uh, <coughs> I'm going to explain you why I will uh, personally recommend this uh, Blue Sea uh, product because if you if you if you touch this one you 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 will feel this one is very rugged design and this one most important thing is weatherproof and ignition protected which means you can uh, fix this one near your gasoline tank or near battery bank or near uh, any electrical d board you can uh, fix this one because you don't need to worry about the inside this is completely ignition protected so which means the inside is spark so this ignition protect mean inside is spark it's not coming outside so it will uh, uh, it's very safe design and also weatherproof uh, so you can uh, fix this one in outside like uh, like plush mount design or you can uh, fix outside so you don't need to worry about get wet or uh, with the water uh, sea water or fresh water you don't need to worry when boat is washing if you are put the water here no problem because this a uh, weatherproof uh, uh, design so uh, that is the main thing I need to tell you when you're going to uh, fix the terminal you will see the load current and line current so the main uh, after the battery switch the load current you should connect to the load terminal then to the machinery you need to take the line <coughs> current uh, sorry uh, the the li line current is you need to take from the battery switch then load current you can take uh, to the uh, machine so that's a uh, important thing i need to uh, tell you i the i am personally recommend this uh, blue sea uh, circuit breaker thermal circuit breaker this is a uh, very good design if you need to uh, fix uh, inches windlass or bow thruster and uh, i recommend go with this uh, blue sea uh, design you can choose the many uh, like a wide range of uh, amperage because uh, normally from 20 to 200 amps you can uh, choose this uh, this is uh, like a wide range uh, production uh, that's uh, that is the thing that I need to explain you and next time if you are going to fix some kind of winches windlass or uh, both uh, both thruster sometimes down there uh, also you fix this one then uh, it will protect your machine uh, I hope you get an idea and uh, please subscribe my video thank you for watching have a nice day